Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mikado Sensei back with another video today. Um, today we're going to be talking about crystals, some facts about crystals, because I know um, I've been posting a lot of crystal videos, but I never show them, like, especially for the people that's new to my channel, new to getting into crystals, what exactly they are, you know, what they do. Um, they look like rocks, but they're a lot more than rocks, so we're going to be getting into that today. I'm learning about them right after this clip. What a clip. So we're just gonna hop right into it. So, crystals. Crystals? Crystals. <laughs> crystals may look just like rocks, but they are so much more. They radiate light from the heavens and capture its essence in their form. They encode all life and its events in their crystalline matrix, which we are able to tap into once humanity learns the language slash code. And the code is stored inside our DNA, human's DNA, ready to be accessed as soon as we raise our frequency a few more notches. So that being said, you know, um, we're moving into the fifth dimension away from the third dimension. With that, there's going to be a lot more changes and... I believe that crystals may be a heavy uh, part of that change as well in terms of raising our vibration and etc. They're connected to the one infinite creator and at one point in human history, places like Atlantis, places like Lemuria, they are not myths. They're just not mentioned in history for whatever reason mainly, you know, but yeah. Uh, in inner earth, they still use these beings for almost everything. Like crystals are a major factor here down to homes, how they travel, um, record information, holding information is through crystals, okay? So if anything, I see the surface dwellers, us living on the surface of earth, um, are playing catch up because these beings are on a higher vibration than us and using higher technology than us as well. Um, so that's just a little intro, I guess, into the crystals. So now I'm going to explain how these crystals work because people think it's like just your mind or something playing tricks on you, whatever. But these are actual beings that have a, a, a code, you know, a, a, a way of living, a way of contact and communicating, things like that. Even though we don't understand it, it's, you know, majority of us, we, we still know that they do do this, you know. Um, so... The crystal beings only create from pure light substance and direct this light into the lives of others for their benefit and soul's growth. You can hold them in your hands and they will transmit their light waves into your auric field to enlighten and expand your awareness of the world around you. Uh, some people are not able to perceive the crystal's energy because they have not developed the right senses to do so. You know, the same, I guess, as uh, being in this physical reality. You have five senses that you usually use to traverse this place. You can smell things, you can see things. But well, it's the same way, I guess, in like the spiritual world or, you know, dealing with etheric energy, uh, light energy, things of that nature. You have to develop your uh, your senses, the senses that you need, like your third eye, heart chakra, things like that, to be able to perceive etheric energy, the spirit world, light, and crystals. Um, the funny thing is, too, crystals actually help you to do this. The more that you're, you're working with them, the more we work with these crystals, the more they allow us to um, open up different aspects of ourselves and ultimately be able to feel their energy and things of that nature. Um, so there also is levels to the crystals too, uh, in terms of how powerful they are, as well as how conscious they are. You have like the novice crystals, I want to say like maybe rose quartz, uh, aventurine, things like that. And then you have like intermediate ones and above there you have like master beings i'd say like moldavite and Dara's. like they they're all very powerful in their own right some crystals you know their song just doesn't resonate with uh certain people uh, just as humans you know we have certain people we just don't resonate with and that's because it's it's energy frequency you know? those people are just not on the same wavelength but 
that doesn't mean it's bad. It's just you know, it doesn't resonate with you. So with crystals, you have to find the one that resonates with you. As you begin working with the crystal of your choosing, it begins to bond with you. We go through a process of attuning to crystals where we, when we start working with them, which is the attunement process is different for everyone, but it really depends on where you are vibrationally, what's happening in your life at the time and etc. Because the thing about these crystals, it's lifting you up to meet their electron spin and transmuting your physical matter into crystalline light particles. So it's bringing you at a place where you can better understand them and where there is like a connection between you and that crystal. Um, the same, I guess, as humans, you know, you have to go through a certain, some people just get you like this and sometimes it takes a little more time and it doesn't mean it's wrong, anything's wrong. It's just like you're feeling out each other's energy and starting to sync with them, resonate and things of that nature uh, energetically. So this is kind of the same process that's being done here. And it's different for everyone. The crystal, every crystal is unique as well, just as well as human. With that being said, working with the specific crystal long enough, you begin to take on some or all of the characteristics that crystal holds. Not physically, but more maybe in your personality, maybe you get calmer, maybe you're more loving, things of that nature. They begin to imbue you with codes. Um, for instance, Moldavite. I know you guys have heard, you know, TikTok going crazy with Moldavite and etc. But um, they bring about a lot of change very quickly, and a lot of people have a lot of bad things to say about about uh, Moldavite. But I, in my opinion, they just weren't ready for them or didn't expect that because they didn't know how. Uh, strong they were or how their frequency was so high. This tectite crystal is vibrating at such a high frequency that the human begins to ascend to that same frequency to meet Moldavite. So with all that being said, a lot of things cannot stay on that high vibration that Moldavite's at because it's a high vibration, you know, like things have to be moved for, in order for us to get to Moldavite or the whatever the crystal's vibration is and it will do so in some ways that is not linear and we're expecting like it to work this way but it, it's working the way it should be you know and I think it kind of scares a lot of people but that just lets us know that we have a, some work to do you know but these are one of the best teachers slash guides in my opinion and they don't use English or a specific language to communicate. Uh, they communicate energetically through dreams, visions, synchronicities, and a huge one is through the heart. That is like a huge power center that crystals and higher beings, period, decide to communicate through people. If you have a closed heart, odds are you cannot feel the energy that crystals are given off or uh, humans, etc. Like, it's definitely a focal point. Crystals are better than most of us as well on the surface at holding a stable frequency. Humans' frequency is constantly fluctuating due to things like stress, irritation. These lower vibrational energies tend to uh, lower our vibration throughout the day. And so it looks like a wave. You're just riding a roller coaster throughout the day um, with all that and it lowers our vibration. Crystals help us to not be affected by these lower vibrational things like that. Um, they reinforce our auric field so we really don't have any holes where things can get past and uh, affect us like it's happening on an energetic level. Uh, just all these facts that are being said, I feel like these are things that people don't really realize or know about uh, crystals and how they affect the human or work with us you know it's in ways that are helping us on a etheric level spiritual level emotional level mental level it's preparing us for this fifth dimension switch that we are going into activating sorting things out you know it's a it's a teacher guide it's protector it could be a lot of things you know you you grab a crystal that you may need the qualities from that for that time period but they have so much to offer us as a, a collective a human collective in terms of these type of things in terms of growing spiritually in terms of things like that so i hope with all this information 
uh, it's put a different perspective on crystals for some and allows people to go out and try getting to know these beings better because they are more than just rocks and crystals. They have a lot to offer humanity and where we are going. They have had a lot to offer me so far. So I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll be catching you guys on the next video. Oh, also, before I leave, I forgot to mention this book, man. I really, really like this book, and I've gotten it maybe like a year ago or so. Um, Message from the Crystal uh, Kingdom with poems from Elementals through Diane Robbins. This book has been great. Like, I resonated with a lot of the messages she had put into this book. Um, she really explains how crystals work as well, really well. Um, even more in here. So if you're interested in learning more about these crystals, I really recommend buying this book, man. Very beautiful. <laughs> All right.